right, we're checking out the only game where you never bring a car to a plane fight. It's GTA. We wanted to put cars versus planes, and so Alex has created a brand new challenge. When we came up with these two things, I had no idea how Alex was going to manage to put this together, but he's a genius at torturing me. And so as you can imagine, I'm going to have to outrun planes. I'm going to have to tank planes. I'm going to have to jump into planes. This is like a Fast and the Furious blended fruit smoothie. I've got all these different cars to try and do this Vin Diesel insanity, but as always, only one can make it to the end. Let's do this. I'm gonna start off as stupid as possible. This is like a banana with six wheels on it. I just realized too, there's a bunch of dead bodies in the back of the cage. This is one of those instances where you have an idea for a, like a challenge. Which car can outrun the bomber jet? I don't know. I never asked myself that question. This is one of those instances where you have an idea for a challenge and you're like, how can you possibly do this? You realize all you have to do is hold Alex's multitude of beers because somehow he manages to put anything together. I tried to figure out what you're supposed to do here. You're supposed to land on this platform, then keep your car going so that you follow the platform. And then if you look way in the distance, there's helicopters. I don't know if you're supposed to dodge the helicopters or slalom them or what. Okay, so you start all the way back here. When we see the bomber spawn, we're gonna drive and we have to match our speed with the plane. Here we go. So go, use the booster. I am nowhere near fast enough to keep up with the bomber. Okay, we're gonna start halfway up. I feel like maybe this thing can do this, no, I'm not even close. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. And platform it. Oh, oh yes. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Oh, this is off. <laughs> oh, what a nightmare to drive on. Oh, this is some buttery smooth insanity right here. Oh, it's a guessing game on how fast I need to go to land this. I don't know if I'm happy, caught or sad that Alex managed to put this together so perfectly. It probably didn't help that I chose the most insane car to attempt this with. Let's try something else. Okay, I didn't expect the first challenge to be so technical. We're gonna go straight with the Vin Diesel mobile. Raw, that's what I like to see. If I channel the inner Fast and the Furious, I'm sure nothing could possibly go wrong. I'm starting way back here on this one. This thing's got some pickup. All right, here we go. Okay, uh... Oh, wow. Man, I really underestimate just how fast that bomber is going. Okay, I can almost match the speed. I'm getting real close. Full flip. And sticks to landing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, just just barely too short. It's like the mother bear and the, and the papa bear. I mean, they're too, too short or too long. All right, bomber, work with me. There we go. Okay, this looks go. Oh, wow. Okay, it's like trying to figure skate on top of a bunch of wax paper covered in corn oil. Ugh. The other problem is if you overshoot this, you cannot use your brakes. If you use your brakes, you won't be able to get the speed back up. I have a feeling I need a car that can both... Oh, oh, it's not fast enough. What I was trying to say is I need a car that can accelerate and decelerate really fast. So this should do great, look at that. Okay, we can keep up with it, no problem. Today, on Incredibly Stupid Decisions, Gray still plays, plays yet another Alex board. Okay, this, this is a good run. This is a good run, a little bit off the gas, back on the gas. I can't even describe to you how difficult it is to stay on this platform. Just because there's a small jump you have to do. When this jump happens, the wheel starts spinning when it hits the ground, and it is just a nightmare to keep this thing on the platform. That looks great. Still not enough speed. Do you know the price of failure? <laughs> All right, I'm just going with insane speed. We need something ridiculous. This is one of those instances where I don't even have time to pick. I don't even have time to meme this up because I gotta use everything I got to have any chance of completing the first challenge. Okay, now I need to learn where this thing lines up at in its acceleration. Okay, this looks good. And then we're gonna increase a little bit. And okay, so I need to increase more in this. Okay, so right about here should be a good start. Yeah, this looks good. About halfway. Okay, now we're on top of it. And then we wanna, there it is. Wow, okay. Perfect speed. And then just just gotta just gotta slowly, slowly stick it. 
Nice and smooth. Oh my God, there's helicopters in the middle of nowhere. I knew they were there. I just never got to them. Oh, hi tree. I wasn't sure how this could get any worse because it's pretty bad. <laughs> this is pretty insane, but, oh, there we go. Besides having to go the exact same speed as the bomber, I have to slalom helicopters <laughs> like a bunch of pigeons waiting to murder me. Who's driving those things? No joke, because this thing is so thick, I might have to get a different vehicle that has the same speed, but on top of that is thinner. What a specific subsection of tasks that these vehicles need to complete. All right, so go over to the right. There we go. Oh yeah, oh, this is nice. This is nice. Oh no, what happened to my car? I just got sent to the shadow realm. My car evaporated. Okay, I think we can do it in this. I really do. Cause I got, look at this. I got the platform landing down. We've got it. Now we know we're gonna hang to the right, left, right, left. And the last helicopter is really close. Ugh, like you have to make that slalom super fast. Okay, lined up good. Speed is good gonna be at the front of the platform so we have the most amount of time there we go oh yeah oh that's hot it's that last one i'm so close i can taste the next platform it's right there i just need to it's such a uh, it's like performing aerial surgery i don't like it it's aerial surgery but oh god yes Come on, just land this great. Yeah, no! <laughs> it's, it's like surgery, but with only malpractice suits. I love malpractice! Come on! <laughs> I must impress upon you how precise. Oh my god. Oh, that's it. Now, what happened to the platform? What is it so? Oh my god. I. We made it. I don't know if the platform was supposed to rock like that, but I was not expecting that. Ah, oh, nothing like starting the day with a heart attack. Which car can maneuver under commercial planes? Again, another question I, I ever thought I would have to ask myself. Do I jump this? I think I just jumped this. That's not too bad. All right, come around the corner, do a little e eat. That plane looks a lot closer. Oh, the plane is moving. Okay, now that I know what we're doing, jump, land, and we have to, I, go in between the landing gear? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> now I understand why this car was called thick. The fact that this is the only car that I have managed to get to this point makes me really concerned about trying anything else. So let's just kind of, can I cheat this? Uh, apparently not. Okay, so you legitimately have to s just squeeze in between the landing gear like that. First landing gear, no problem. Oh, the second one just disappeared. That's great. I love it when oh, commercial jets get vaporized randomly. Oh God, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, do I have to do another jump? <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, it kills you. That's brutal. Cheat. I love it. That's my middle name. Gray Cheat still plays. All right, let's see how it does keeping up with the bomber. So, lots of acceleration, obviously. Line it up. Nice, easy yeet. Oh, that is a sweet yeet. Now, getting around the helicopter should be so simple because I don't have anything to get in the way. Here, watch this. Boom, look at that, bam, one time. Oh, this is the first time. This is the first try. Oh, or not, I shouldn't have said anything. Karma! Ow. <laughs> ah, there's nothing like resting my kidney on the muffler of my motorcycle. I shouldn't have slowed down that much. This is good. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so now nice and smooth. Don't get too cocky, Gray. We're not doing this again. There it is. Oh yeah, this is, oh yeah, that, la that last helicopter is really close. If I can do this in the thick mobile, there's no way I'm not able to do this in a motorcycle. Come on. Perfect. 
There, okay. Right in the middle, yeah, it does. It leans out of the way. And for some reason on the motorcycle, you have just enough space to land this. Okay, I've got this lined up. I had to wait, oh my God. I wanted to wait to make sure that I wasn't gonna get a plane to the mouth. Oh yeah. Oh, the motorcycle is perfect. Okay, and then slalom it, big jump, perfect landing. Through the landing gear. You have to do this three times? Wow. Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't think it would spawn right on top of me. Dancing with the planes. Dancing with the planes. Nope. Oh. Huh. I can just go around the outside. <laughs> guess I guess I could have saved myself a lot of pain and heartache if I would have just done that to begin with. Honestly, though, it's not that hard to go through the middle of the landing gear. It's pretty easy on the motorcycle, to be honest with you. And then big jump, sticks the landing, and we good? We good? I think we're good. Which car can withstand a prop plane in what? Like an arm wrestling competition? What are we talking about? You have to play chicken with the prop plane. I don't know if a motorcycle can beat a prop plane in a head-to-head -head competition, man. I kind of expected to jump over the planes, not have to go through them. Also, random bird died here. Maybe I could just cheat this. Can I go under this? Oh, the plane had the wing gets you! <laughs> no! I got decapitated! All right, that'll teach me to try and cheat this. We're gonna do a head-to-head! -head. Pop the wheel! I don't think that there is any way that a motorcycle can go head to head with a plane. Okay, I was willing to put myself through this agony one more time just to make sure. And no, a motorcycle cannot be a prop plane. And now I'm getting butchered by the prop. Ah yes, thinly sliced delicatessen gray still plays. So I want something that's not too thick, pretty fast, Nice and light, but still has enough beef to beat the prop plane. It says nimble, it's got the essence of life. I'm not sure I wanna ask to find out exactly what that is. Probably something that'll get me arrested if I try and take it on a plane with me. Here we go. Oh yeah. Okay, it's got decent speed. I think this can keep up with the platform. Oh yeah. Oh, this is the stuff. Perfect, okay. So now how's the turn radius on this thing? Depends on how much speed it loses while slaloming. Ah, it feels pretty good. Oh God, oh wow. Oh, that last one was close. Ah, okay, for a first try, that was not bad. Okay, beautiful transfer, sprunk in the trunk, essence of life. Okay, we got the ATF or TSA or whatever. Check in the trunk of the car. Looking for anything illegal. Oh, I got the one landing gear, the final helicopter. They're like, would you like to claim anything, good sir? Yes, I'm, I claim the essence of life, all right? I'm not sure if that will go off on a metal detector or what. That's perfect. Swings out. Beautiful landing, there we go. All right, time to find out how good this thing is at going in between landing gears. I don't know if I timed this well. Oh, it wasn't bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, it doesn't get hit at all. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is very uh, tension inducing. I can feel parts of my body clenching. Oh, <laughs> not today, Satan plane. Ah, no, my, my car. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. We got run out again! Ah, oh no! Ah, no! Hold on, the car's still good. It's still good. Get in the car, get in the car. Oh God! Oh! Yes! Oh, the car is totally derped. But, oh, but it still works. <laughs> oh no, I think I busted the radiator. The car is smoking. I can hear it dying. There is black, <laughs> oh no. Okay, this car is easily the second best vehicle I've had doing this. 
the platform is no problem. Now I just need to do this nice and... I hate myself. Nice and controlled. Need patience. Agility. Oh my god, that was really close to dying. There we go. Plenty of space. Big jump. Not... Oh god. <laughs> no joke. Oh god. I was gonna say, I might need something that's even more nimble than this. Or, or not. Hold on. Come on, baby. Let this happen. Let this happen. Here we go. That's perfect. That's perfect. As long as a plane doesn't spawn directly on top of me. There we go. Oh, never mind. Big roll. Flip. Sticks the landing. Now the question. I've always wanted to know. Oh. Okay. It can take it. Uh, get out of the way! Uh, go away! Do I have to outpower this thing? Oh, there we go. Okay. So I had to do enough damage. Whoa! Oh, that was almost awful. Which car can jump over six titans? Six? Oh my god. That bird right there is like, you're an idiot, Gray. I know. Oh my God. All right, maximum speed all the way to the tail of the other plane. I see the train there laughing at me from the ground. A big launch. I am not even close. I got three options left. Okay. This has the speed. Okay, <laughs> it's just called okay. You can't even give me a winner or something? I think this has what we're looking for though. Fast, agile, thin, can take a little bit of a beating. Let's see how good it is. I'm not even close. I need to start that way earlier. Okay, here we go. I think I've got this timed pretty well. Oh, it definitely has the speed. So, don't let up too much. There we go. That's good. Got on the platform, first try. How good is it going around the helicopters? A little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. Well, the turn radius is good, I just suck. In fact, I, I overcorrect with this thing. I'm used to things not being so responsive. <laughs> there we, God. Okay, there's one thing I will say about this. The aerodynamics of this thing are incredible. Okay, speed is perfect. We're looking good. Helicopters piloted by drunk people. Oh God, yeah, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, I can get this done. The last turn is gonna be close. There, but I have to make sure that I'm accelerating when I take it. There, that should be good. I should have enough speed. Land this sideways, <laughs> perfect. All right, Mr. Car, how are you at dodging commercial jets? The car's like, what did you just say? You heard me, I said dodging commercial jets. A totally normal thing in GTA, oh my god! I never thought that I would get all the way to that part and then, oh uh, no. Hold on, hold on, I can save this, I can save this, I can save this, we're fine, we're fine. I was gonna say, and then get taken out by the tail of a commercial jet, okay. Full focus, middle, nice, oh yeah, focus. Totally focused. So focused that my brain feels like it's gonna bend in on itself. Oh, this thing gets a lot of distance on its jump. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah, once it starts taking it seriously, this thing's no joke. Okay, can it beat a prop plane? Here we go. Okay, what was the prop? Is, is it coming or is it stuck? Oh, oh, here it comes, here it comes. Oh yeah, come on. Break, there we go. Okay, prop plane's done. Now I should be able to just push this thing out of the way. A boop. There we go. Wow, I went under it, that was weird. So now, can it jump? All of the tight ends, a big jump. Lean forward, oh yeah, oh this is happening. Oh this is happening. Oh my God, it's so close, oh it's right there. Oh are you kidding me? Come on. Come on, curb boost. Beautiful jump, that is, oh, it's a little bit off to the left. Oh God, I'm like corkscrewing this. It can get there. Okay, let me show y'all something. <laughs> I found a way. We're gonna go all the way back 
to the very edge of this little underside. This is like the wing guy. It almost killed that duck. Then we're gonna curb boost. Then we're gonna line it up. Then we're gonna do the monster jump. Oh my God, I think it's just barely gonna make it. Yes! Oh my God. <laughs> Which car can jump inside of a cargo plane? Oh no. It's like every thumbnail ever made. I, I assume, how's this, what do you have to do? I have to jump that high and land into that thing? Alex, you, you tested this, right? Oh no. Oh, it's kind of off to the left too. I don't even know how much speed I need for this. Okay, the second that the, okay, here we go. I was gonna say, the second the plane spawns, we're gonna go. And then, I don't, God. This looks good. No, I was too early. Oh, these challenges are insane. That's a really good jump. Okay, I can get to this point pretty regularly. Now we're gonna go. That should be good, I think. I'm kind of just spitballing this. This is this is like a giant guess. Jump! Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my! <laughs> you have no idea how happy I am that worked, and that means that we have a winner! <laughs> While I jumped into a plane and my soul jumped out of my body. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.